our first question is in uh, meditation we learned that one has to practice not to reflect on anything but how can one know that he or she is not suppressing uh, his thoughts or intentions no can you repeat that last line uh, how can i know if i'm not suppressing my thoughts and intentions if i'm not reflecting on anything okay uh, if i understand the question is okay if somebody makes you irritated or somebody really you know hurts you do you think i should reflect it otherwise how can i not do because somebody really insulted me in the presence of so many people okay naturally i'll be able to you know really angry get angry get get all their things am i right that is the question yeah so if i mean by not reflecting if i'm suppressing my intentions or thoughts yes uh, all right it's a, like a uh, obvious thing is somebody insulted you somebody really you know, insulted so many ways okay and how can you remain calm and quiet it, even if i want to within me the anger will arise okay so what uh, what do we have to do under these circumstances and uh, let me explain you what we can do to improve ourselves first of all now you look at it that if somebody insults you what is going to happen it's a natural occurrence okay you want to react it in the in the beginning in the, in your mind that reaction will come okay in the, in the in the beginning but let's say you are on the path of spiritual progress okay so you said well i don't think i would like to you know really uh, react on it do all that one okay and build up my karma all right if you are a bitchatvi you will become really right away reacting it okay and you are going to get you are getting getting in a karma cycle like we explained to you if somebody else the other person is lot more powerful lot more stronger then you will not show your reaction but you are building your internal resistance okay and you are suppressing your feeling you are suppressing your feeling now these are the areas you have to analyze yourself am i really suppressing this feeling and i'm still holding the grudge against him so that when i'm looking at the opportunity when the right opportunity comes i'm going to really tell everything okay and you blow up at that time that is called basically you are suppressing your feeling and then when the time comes you are blowing up you are not helping anything to yourself okay but let us say your personality is you are suppressing and then before you go to bed you started thinking why did that person insert is there any he had a good point about me that what he said it is the right things or not okay and you meditate on on the incident that what is occurring then you may find out that there are several things what he said was a true there are several things no was wrong but there are several things he was true so your animosity towards him is reduced okay your animosity is reduced and if you wait for a little longer time it is further reduced that is called utsav initially you suppress the things okay and then as time passes you no know, your animosity towards that person is reducing 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 and maybe after a week or two or a month okay or ultimately at the year end when you do chami dukdam okay you forgot about all this animosity that is called upsham upsham in the sense uh, kshayopsham that initially you suppress it 
then you are eliminating it. You are eliminating it layer by layer by layer. And uh, at the most maximum you can keep is like one year. And at the, when you do Samatsari Prati command, you did uh, all these Kamasamana and everything. That's uh, another way of progressing, okay? First way is uh, only oops, only upsam you are going to fall back because whatever build up uh, you have done suppressing building you build it up it is going to blow up one day and one day that blows up it is going to be you no know, all over if you do shayop shabwe then yes slowly and slowly you progress it you are reducing it and then uh, a day comes you completely eliminating it, okay? That is the Kshayopsam way attaining, progressing, you no know, karmalas situation. And there is a third situation that somebody tells you bad word. Instead of reacting, instead of reacting, okay, a anger doesn't arise in you. No animosity arises in you, okay? Even the person said bad word. Like if you tell Mahavira a bad word, Mahavira is in meditative state. He heard the bad word. He did everything. What happens? Okay, there is no anger arises in Mahavira. In him, it is only karuna. Now, in this case, it is a kshaikwe. Kshaikwe means there is no anger. Anger is not a part of his life. Okay. Nobody can make him angry. They are the perfect spiritual people. We call it Kevli. Okay. That's what the spiritual personality is. We need to achieve that state. That is the point I'm trying to you know, explain to you that we, we, our goal is that way. We start with Upsham. Uh, we we start with like suppressing first, okay? That is the upsam, and then we did the kshayopsam. All right, initially upsam, then kshayiks. Layer by layer by layer, we are removing it. Okay, majority of the people progress spiritually that way. Okay, because it is we've been you know, our sanskar is like that that we always do it that way. Okay. We wish we reach you no know, Mahavira state, uh, which took Mahavira 12, uh, 12 and a half years. All right. It is not that easy things. It is easy to talk. But when the real time comes, we all know what happens. And then we say, I wish I would not have told them that one. Why did you do that one? I was not in my control. Why? Because so and so reason. You give you all the reason. So do you get the reason answer? Okay. Any uh, any question? Further question?